Hey all, right, I'm going to show you how to rearrange formulas using the magic triangle. Right, so what you do is you start with a magic triangle. Just say you had speed equals distance divided by time. Well, the first thing is draw your magic triangle, create a top shelf, and then this big bit down here, split it into two bits by drawing a multiplication sign. So I've created three corners. Now I've got three things and each one can go in a corner. The formula is given to you in the form of something is on the top shelf. So if it's on the top shelf out here, it goes on the top shelf in there. Now I've got two spaces and two things. Shove those things in those spaces. And then you literally cover up what you're looking for. And what you're left with is how to work it out. So if, I, if I'm looking for T, cover up T, what am I left with? Distance divided by speed. So time would equal distance divided by speed. Now, you might say, well, what if I get an equation and it isn't something divided by something? Okay, I'll show you the second rule or the magic triangle. Again, start off by drawing your top shelf, then split the bottom into two bits by doing a multiplied sign. What if this time it says that distance equals speed times by time? Okay, so I haven't got something on the top shelf out here, so I don't know what goes in there yet, but I have got something times by something, and I've got room for something times by something. So shove those things in there. Now it doesn't matter if it's S times by T or T times by S, because two times by four is the same as four times by two. Now I've got one space and one thing, shove that thing in that space, and what you'll realize is that you get exactly the same magic triangle. And then the rule is just cover up what you're looking for and what you're left with is how to work it out. So if we see what is distance, well, you just cover up distance and you're left with speed times by time. So distance is speed times by time. And that's how to take care of business when there's three things. Now what if there is four things? Let's just say you've got kinetic energy equals a half times by the mass times by the velocity squared. Now I know this is called a magic triangle, but you can actually do it with four things. So create the, the top shelf there, and this time split the bottom bit up into three bits. And I've got something times by something times by something, and I've got room for something times by something times by something. So I'll just shove those in there. And I've got one space up here and one thing. So I'll shove that thing into that space. And once again, just cover up what you're looking for and what you're left with is how to work it out. So just say you're looking to make M the subject. If I cover up M, I'm left with KE on the top, kinetic energy, and that is divided by a half, and what's in between the half and the velocity, what mathematical function, and multiplied sign. So there we go, that's how you'd get that. Well, if I want V squared, okay, cover up V squared, what am I left with? KE divided by a half times by M. So V squared would equal Ke divided by a half times by m. And that is how to take care of that. Thank you very much and goodbye for now.